everybody welcome back to Zul studio channel today I'm going to render this bedroom model that I made yesterday before we started let's check the model make sure there is no flying object and make sure the material is applied properly oh this is intersecting model we have to fix it Okay. Then let's check the emissive material. Make sure applied properly. Okay, thing is good. Go to the window, model info, purge and use, and then make sure there is no hidden object. And head all. Save the file and then let's open the d5 let's hit open button and open the file and let's wait until the loading finish okay from now I will turn off my camera so you can see the whole screen before we start we have to save the file to check your, our workflow okay let's get inside the room by fly navigation get inside right and let's change the camera to 80 and turn on the clip to get good view okay And let's move to image mode and change the aspect ratio to 69 and get the best view I think this is nice so to help us making composition let's turn on the grid by 75 okay looks good Okay, I will make it 75 field of view. Let's update the scene. Okay, we have the scene and let's get out from this image mode. Turn off the grid and let's start setting the material. I will start from the window. Let's change it to normal glass from library. And let's set the parquet. Let AI do. Give it a normal 0 0.1, specular 0 0.5, roughness 0 0.3. Okay, great. This looks too gloss. Let's turn down the specular to 0 0.3. Okay, this looks better. Let's change this wood. Give it a normal map. Add a specular. And the roughness to 0 0.3. Okay. And we have this dark veneer. Give the same setting as the first one. And then we have this curtain. 
I will pick from my favorite library. Usually I use gray curtain gauss. And then I will use white gauss curtain number 3. Okay, it looks pretty good. And then we have this carpet. I will use the existing textile because it's already good. Let's give it a normal roughness 0 0.6 and change it to cloth. And then turn down the file off to one. Okay. Then we have this marble. Zero normal. Specular zero point five. And roughness zero point two. Okay, great. Let's get inside. Turn off the clip. And next change the navigation to orbit of course to get more fully movement next we have this table just give it specular and roughness to give it more gloss Then we have this this fabric. Let's see what we have. I will change it to a light gray cloth. And make it darker. Okay, and then let's change the scaling. Okay, nice, lovely, and let's change this fabric to grid fabric from library. Change the scaling. Okay, that looks great. And then uh, duplicate to this one. Oh, oh, different scaling. I think we should make it bigger. Let's turn down to three hundred. Three hundred is good. We have another grid fabric. Let's put it and scale it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. And then another grid fabric. Next we have this leather. Let's see from the library. Leather. Okay, let's see. We have like this material looks similar let's try let's put it and then change the scale let's scale it to 30 
it looks to too strong I think let's change it how about Okay, I will go with 3 scale. Next is this frame. Let's give them specular 0.5 and then give it roughness 0.3. Next we have the bed main fabric. I will use white linen let's put it and scale it up let's go on 30 50 it's great I will use 50 uh, wait wait it still looks too big how about 80 or 60 18 70 is the best value let's put again I think we just duplicate it from this duplicate duplicate again and uh, duplicate on this one duplicate on this one and then we have this gray I will use dark gray. Let's put it and scale it. I think this looks great. Let's see. Okay. Then we have this white linen. Scale it. change this fabric we have let's see what we have here 
Food fabric. Let's try this one. Scale it. Okay, this looks weird, I think. We I use this fabric, it looks too repetitive. I think I will use this one. Okay. Then scale it. Okay, let's looks better, I think. Zero point one. Okay. Looks great. I will keep it. Let's set this wood. Give it a normal map. Spare color 0 0.5 and roughness 0 0.3. We have a wall paint here. Let's give it normal and add roughness to 0 0.6. This black dot 0 0.2 and give it metallic 0 0.1. We have this marble. Let's change it. Make specular 0.5 and roughness 0.2. Then we have this artwork. Give it normal. Oh wait. Specular zero point roughness zero point Next, we will set the lighting. Let's start from global illumination. Let's go inside the image mode, change the aspect ratio, and go to environment. Hit the HDRI button and change the HDRI that you want. I will use my custom. Treat the light. Rotate. Find the best view. Okay. 
I will keep this one. Maybe zero point two. Okay. Let's turn on the sun. Custom direction and make it make the sunlight through the window. Okay. Turn down the intensity. Maybe zero point zero one zero point zero five. Okay. I think we need zero point five. Okay. And then let's set the artificial lighting. We'll start from this curtain LED. Turn on the emissive. Change the temperature to a 3.5K. And then increase the intensity Okay Next we have Up ceiling LED Right here Turn on the MSF Change the temperature Maybe make it 10 intensity. Let's see. How about 15? Maybe 20. And then next we have this hidden LED on this panel. Let's turn it on, change the temperature 3.5K. Let's make it 15 
And then let's add here. Turn on the MSF. Change the temperature. Let's see from far. Turn it up. I think seven days now. Turn the MSF and make intensity to 10 and the wall washer. Then intensity and then change the temperature to 3.5K. Okay, great. Let's put uh, spotlight. Put it here. Reduce the radius. Then turn down the intensity. Copy it to this side. Yeah, of course, the temperature. to be cheating mm, but it looks strange Get a bigger angle. Too strong, maybe then. Okay, looks great. Let's put spare light here. Turn down the radius, of course. Caustic. Then turn down the intensity. 
move it down. Okay. Change the temperature. Let's see from far. Looks great. Let's copy to the other render lamp. Okay, looks great. Let's set the effect. Contrast 0.1. Oh, looks too strong. It's bad. Zero five. I think I will keep it zero. White balance. Six thousand. I think I will keep 6.5k Feed net 0.5 Pin make lens flare 0.5 Bloom 0.2 So let's try Render it Let's test on 720 It should be less than a minute Let's try 34 seconds Pretty fast Let's see the result Oh, that looks too strong here. Overall, looks great. But I have to change this. Maybe radius. Let's turn it down. Let's make it maybe 300 let's try again it should be better let's see now that looks better okay I will render it on 4k resolution Let's update the scene, save the file, change the aspect ratio, make it 4K, and then add additional channel. Usually, I use ambient occlusion and reflection map. So, let's render it. I think probably it's five minutes. Let's wait. Right, let's see the result is 4 minutes and 20 seconds let's see this is the main image the ambient occlusion and the reflection so let's compose it on photoshop but first we have to close the d5 to conserve my computer resource so it's already open let's change the image mode to 16 bit and then convert it to smart object then go to filter camera raw 
let's click auto button let's turn down the vibrance I don't need the vibrance and saturation it feels too yellow let's change to auto turn down the temperature minus 3 ok then go to color mixer saturation turn down the yellow value and the orange as well the clarity to oops 15 and then he has 5 too big maybe 15 contrast just make it zero exposure okay shadow black hit ok let's see the difference I think we need more yellow around here Okay, this looks better. Let's put reflection channel to get more dramatic reflection. Change the layer mode to color dodge.
let's try color dodge and turn down the opacity to 30 let's see the difference that looks so glass about color dodge Okay, that looks too strong. Maybe twenty five. Okay. Fifteen. We'll go with color dodge with 30 opacity and then let's put ambient occlusion and change it to soft light then turn down the opacity turn down to 15 okay Yeah, 15 is good. So let's see the difference. This is the original camera row with reflection channel and then I'm in the collision channel. So this is the final image. You can see it's pretty good right now. I have to finish this video if you want get this file you can check download link in the description so make sure you grab it fast because it's a limited download level file so stay tuned to get more tutorial like this and get the project file like this thank you for watching see you in the next video guys bye bye